Welcome to Art Warehouse. I wanted to shock and amaze. Today's artist is Lucian Freud. Lucian Michael Freud was a British painter and draftsman, specializing in figurative art, and is known as one of the foremost 20th century English portraitists. He was born in Berlin on the 8th of December, 1922, the son of Jewish architect Ernst L. Freud and the grandson of Sigmund Freud. Freud got his first name Lucian from his mother in memory of the ancient writer Lucian of Samosata. His family moved to England in 1933, when he was 10 years old, to escape the rise of Nazism. He became a British naturalized citizen in 1939. From 1942 to 1943 he attended Goldsmiths College, London. He served at sea with the British Merchant Navy during the Second World War. His early career as a painter was influenced by surrealism, but by the early 1950s his often stark and alienated paintings tended towards realism. Freud was an intensely private and guarded man, and his paintings, completed over a 60-year career, are mostly of friends and family. They are generally somber and thickly impastoed, often set in unsettling interiors and urban landscapes. The works are noted for their psychological penetration and often discomforting examination of the relationship between artist and model. Freud worked from life studies, and was known for asking for extended and punishing sittings from his models. In 1943, the poet and editor Mir James Thoreauja Tambamutu commissioned the young artist to illustrate a book of poems by Nicholas Moore entitled The Glass Tower. It was published the following year by Editions Poetry London and comprised, among other drawings, a stuffed zebra and a palm tree. Both subjects reappeared in the painter's room on display at Freud's first solo exhibition in 1944 at the Lefebvre Gallery. Freud was one of a number of figurative artists who were later characterized by artist Abi Kitaj as a group named the School of London. This group was a loose collection of individual artists who knew each other, some intimately, and were working in London at the same time in the figurative style. Freud painted from life, and usually spent a great deal of time with each subject, demanding the model's presence even while working on the background of the portrait. A rapport with his models was necessary, and while at work, Freud was characterized as an outstanding raconteur and mimic. Regarding the difficulty in deciding when a painting is completed, Freud said that he feels he's finished when he gets the impression he's working on somebody else's painting. It was Freud's practice to begin a painting by first drawing in charcoal on the canvas. He then applied paint to a small area of the canvas, and gradually worked outward from that point. Freud died in London on 20 July, 2011 and is buried in Highgate Cemetery. Archbishop Rowan Williams officiated at the private funeral.
Thank you so much for watching our video and see you in the following video. Please like and subscribe.